Hi, I'm Brent Hamilton, a PhD candidate at the University of Calgary, and I'm here with our electron microprobe. I use the microprobe to study rocks like this, which is a lovely garnet bitite selenite schist, which comes from my field area on eastern Baffin Island. By studying the minerals in this rock, such as this uh, monazite crystal, I can learn about the Himalayan-like mountain building event that took place about two billion years ago in northern Canada. To give you a bit of an idea about my research, I'd like to share with you one of my proudest accomplishments, my metamorphic map. The different colors represent parts of the crust that were buried to different depths and heated to different temperatures. I know it looks simple, but this one-page map depicts the entire metamorphic story, which gives a number of insights into this ancient mountain building event. It turns out it was also a pretty poorly understood region. The 1970s geologic maps said we'd be finding a lot of these metasedimentary schists. But instead, we found a whole bunch of these tonalite orthonices, which imply a very different history. Uh, now, considering that the simplest facts, the rock types, aren't even known, really shows the potential for research up in northern Canada. I'd like to sincerely thank the W. Garfield Weston Foundation and the Association of Canadian Universities for Northern Studies by honouring me with the W. Garfield Weston Award for Northern Research. I'm grateful to have received this award as it recognizes the extra effort it takes to do fieldwork in logistically challenging northern Canada. This award has given me a wonderful gift, extra hours in the day. My productivity has increased because I'm free from teaching responsibilities. It's also helped me develop as a geologist. It's allowed me to attend a terrific short course and it will let me go to two northern Canada specific geoscience conferences where I can share my findings. Research on Baffin Island was pretty awesome. It was memorable and a truly rewarding adventure. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to return later in my career. Given my experiences, I'd really like to encourage others to go north and explore the bountiful research potential as well. Thank you.